Well, this example is based on the basics of musical instruments classification using machine learning. It's a series of tutorials that you find at Guitars AI GitHub, basics of musical instrument classification. And here we go through different techniques and methods to use machine learning to classify uh, audio files that are recordings from different musical instruments. So we go through the um, MFCC, so the male frequency capture coefficients, the K nearest neighbors algorithms, the support vector machines. We uh, look at the Keras library, both the model class and the sequential model. We um, take a look at the grid search technique. Then we uh, look at the short time Fourier transform, convolutional neural networks using Keras and also using PyTorch. So here you find all the files and the data we are going to use is taking part of the um, London Philharmonia data set. There's a data set with um, thousands of uh, recordings of musical instruments. Here I selected some, just a few, and it, in this zip file here. And this is what we're going to do. So to run the example, you can go here in the GitHub and there is launch on Colab. And we can launch this uh, example and it will open on Google Colab. This is a quite an old tutorial. If I'm not mistaken, it's from 2018. And it's very common in Python, and especially if you are using, for example, Colab, that you have problems with libraries. So libraries are, are constantly being updated. And a lot of times uh, these updates, they don't care about backwards compatibility. So you may have a perfectly running code, a library is updated, and then everything stops working. And we are going to see this happening in this OLAB notebook, and we will learn how to get over these problems and how to solve these problems. So we are going to use a GPU so we can go here to runtime, change the runtime type and use a GPU. We are saving now. As I mentioned, this is a node project and it's using TensorFlow version one and Keras. At this time, Keras was um, supporting multiple backends, but since the release of Keras 2.3, this was the last release of multi-backend Keras, and now Keras moved under the umbrella of TensorFlow, so the developers, they are recommending that you switch from Keras to the TF Keras in TensorFlow 2. This is already a problem that we are going to face here. And we will try to do some changes to, make, to be able to run this um, notebook. Another problem is that um, Google Colab has its own environment and they are updating the libraries as they wish and they are installing the libraries that they think are useful. Sometimes you need to install an extra library. We've seen already how to do it. Sometimes we need to change the version of a library to keep compatible to the old code, for example, we've seen how to do it. And sometimes also we will need to change some things in the, in the code. So let's start running the code and see the problems we will face. Running the cell, the cell, running the imports, and voila, we already faced the first problem. So no module named Keras backend TensorFlow back end so let's see what we need to do as i mentioned before we need to use tensorflow version one and we need to use the keras was um, not part of the tensorflow 2. so if we go back here to the github repository we take a look at this binder where we find the requirements of this project we go to the environment and we see that we are using Keras version 2.2.4 and TensorFlow 112. 
So what we are going to try to do is to change here this environment, installing these versions of the libraries. So here we can install this version of Keras using the pip install like we seen before and the runtime tells us that the dispatches were previously imported and we need to restart the runtime in order to use this new installed version so we start the runtime and we can try again see what it will tell us now okay so Keras there but there is a problem now with tensorflow cannot import the set random seed you didn't use the version of tensorflow that this project was made let's try to install this version of tensorflow so now it's installing tensorflow and installing some previous uh, installations installing this version of tensorflow 1.12 and once again we need to restart the runtime so these changes are applied to this environment and let's try again so now it is importing everything it seems there is some warning saying that it's being things are being deprecated so now we see that we are using the tensorflow 112 and there is a GPU available for us, the Tesla E4. So let's see what happens when we continue to use the code running another cell. And now it is preparing our notebook. So it's cloning the uh, GitHub repository where we have our data. In, that is this zip file in the audio folder. So this is one of the ways that we can port ex external data to the Google Colab. Then it's unzipping, setting up everything. It's still saying that there's no GPU detected and we must configure the runtime, but it's uh, inflating all the MP3 files. And it also gives us here details of the processor it's using. So there's still something missing that we need to configure unfortunately i'm not able to install tensorflow 1.12 there are other dependencies there it um it's not working so we need to change our strategy so i'm going to factory reset the runtime i also want to clear all outputs so clean notebook then i will just check if i still using the gpu GPU. And now there is one thing in Colab that it's, um, it comes with a, a pre-installed version of TensorFlow 1. And with this magic command, we can tell uh, Google Colab to, to use this uh, TensorFlow version. So we are running the cell. We also will use the TensorBoard Colab. Maybe it will not work because it's an old version, but just so we don't need to make changes here as we are importing from TensorBoard Colab, we are importing here inside this uh, try and accept in Python. So if it will not find this library, it will stop executing and uh, will not be inside uh, of um, Colab and then there will be problems in this ex execution so i will just install this library as well then i'm installing the keras 2.2.4 here we check the tensorflow version so it's a 1.15 so hopefully it will work without any changes but if some function is deprecated we will need to replace or remove as we are using these old libraries uh, colab can give us a lot of warnings so I will try to import these warnings and ignore all the warnings so uh, our cells is not full of uh, warnings of deprecated functions and things like this as long as it's working. So let's try this. So now let's go back and try to import everything what we need. So it's using TensorFlow backend. 
and now it found a GPU before it was not finding a GPU the Tesla E4 so we move on to configure things for Colab you can also run this uh, notebook locally so this is why everything that is specifically related to Colab I included here so if you're not it tries to import Google Colab and if it's not inside Google Colab it will tell you that you are running locally not execute this and break your code but we are inside Colab so finds here the GPU and gives some information about our Tesla T4 and it starts to clone the git repository and unzip the zip file as I mentioned before take a while because it's some 100 mp3 files then it's done so we have all our files next I'm just defining some signal processing parameters here's an auxiliary function that I use to display a website inside of the Google Colab here now it will find all the audio files that the audio files here inside our audio folder and then it will generate labels and get the duration of these audio files so this is what it's doing it's getting oboe mp3 so this is from the london philharmonia data set that you can find some information about it here the readme of hub so while is still calculating the duration and loading all these uh, files of oh, the london philharmonia page is not available in oh so ju they just changed here it's on resources sound sample and not in explore sound samples anymore so i can here and fix this uh really fast while we wait for the files to be loaded changes up to date so here you see it download thousands of free sound samples recorded by philharmonia musicians and it's uh, done so now it calculated what's the maximum duration the minimum duration and the average duration of all the files this way we can for example uh, shorten some files or pad some other files if we want to use the same uh, number of samples for each audio file there are different techniques on how we can handle files that they have different durations so this is what I'm doing now. I will trim the silence from these audio files and recalculate the duration. Take some more time. It's done calculating the duration. So far, the code is running smoothly. I will not go into the details on um, this tutorial because if you go to the GitHub, there is a complete YouTube playlist where I go through the theory and practice on these basics of musical uh, instruments classification and I explain the code, I explain the theory here we just running the code to see it's possible to run in Google Colab just by doing these modifications as it is an old tutorial using libraries that have many functions that have been deprecated so here we have the distribution of the duration of the files now there is a little explanation of the short time Fourier transform and this is the feature that we are going to use for the classification so here is just uh, an example of the uh, spectrogram so this is a musical instrument and this is the spectrogram the S STFT spectrogram from this oboe. Then we will encode 
labels for classification. So we have six classes, the cello, flute, oboe, uh, sax, trumpet, and a viola. Then we will sp split our data set into train and test set. Here, a short explanation about convolutional networks. And here we are creating our convolutional networks model using Keras and there's TensorFlow as a back end. So here is our model. There are many layers with max pooling, dropout, and um, dense layers in the end. So I explain this on this uh, in detail in this Google, um, YouTube playlist. We define our loss function, our optimizer. Then we defined our feature generator that will compute the for time Fourier transform for all the audio files, and then it will start to train the model. So far, everything is running smoothly. Everything looks that uh, we just needed to have the correct versions of um, TensorFlow and Keras, but we have a problem at this point here. We continue debugging this notebook, make it work in Google Colab. It's a very old notebook. Things have changed a lot of libraries in terms of Colab, so we change the strategy once more. So what happens is that uh, not only we need to install a different, an older version of TensorFlow, but also an older version of CUDA library. So we will install CUDA 9. This is what we do with this cell here. It will uh, download the uh, CUDA and install. Take some, quite some time and we'll try to install the TensorFlow, the 112, which is the same version that we used here, but now also with the CUDA library, the correct version, and we'll see what will um, happen next. So apparently CUDA 9 is installed, and now we move to install TensorFlow 1.12. And then we also need to install the TensorFlow GPU 1.12 as we are using a GPU here. So at this point we have a TensorFlow GPU 1.12 installed, and we installed Keras like we did before. We installed TensorBoard Colab, and here we have the TensorFlow. 1.12 with CUDA 9 and Tensor GPU. So let's start running the code again and see if now it will work. Using TensorFlow backend, it found GPU. Keep things downloading, cloning a repository, extracting files, defining signal processing, and so on. Generating labels, stream silence, calculate the um, duration distribution, calculating the time of year, encoding labels, dividing the data set into training and test set, defining our model, the convolutional layers, defining loss function, the optimizer, and then we will reach the point where we will try to train the model where we had problems last time. Until this point, everything seems to be working fine. Now we'll try to train our model. Starting tensor board, separate page, it's the link. Starts with uh, the first epoch. So we have a training set with 450 files. It seems to be working okay. Let's try to test the tensor board with NGROC. So it's loading fine. Here we see 
our model layers convolution of layers max pooling drop out dense layers so this we have a tensor board running separate page the uh, old style of using tensor board now google colab also offers another way kind of a magic function to use tensor board this topic of another tutorial the first epoch done and we can check on tensor board scalars we already see here the training and validation uruses and loss so tensor board seems to be working fine as well training seems to be working fine and it will take quite some time so i shorten the time of training just to things to um, move faster so after three epochs we have here the training was uh, successfully accomplished also tensor board working we can continue running the code and see we can we can also have our plots now we will try to evaluate the model making the predictions and loading the best model what we got from our training and then making the predictions with this loaded model also see that the best model was saved here you can for example download this uh, model and save into our computer have in mind that as we've seen on the tutorial about um, google colab and external data that everything that is locally in this colab is not saved so if you close this you lose all the files unless you mount your drive and you save directly to your google drive or you download to your machine otherwise you will not uh, you will lose this file so predictions be ready working we have our metrics so evaluating model let's try to plot the confusion metrics so so far the code is running nicely so model is working fine you wrong predicted files just five and we reached the end of this notebook so we've seen how to make the changes in the google colab environment so that we can run this old notebook is using a different version of cuda using a very old version of tensorflow even older than when you use this uh, magic cell telling uh, Google Colab to use TensorFlow version 1. It uses the 1.15, and here we are using the 1.12. So, after all these modifications, we managed to run this notebook. And this code will be available at this GitHub, so I will save here as is um introduction to evolutional neural networks using keras and when you press here launch on colab it will launch this notebook already with all these modifications so that's it for this tutorial and i see you next time